Hello racers, this is Danny with Silver Horse RC with an instructional video on our nitro screws. Perhaps you've seen these on the website and you're wondering, geez, what do these really do? Um, well, what they do is they replace the screws on the top of the chassis and reduce the overall, the top weight and the overall weight. But the main thing is, is that you're lowering the center of gravity. And um, I've got the instructions for it, but I've never really done a video on it. And I thought it'd be a great idea to show the actual installation. So I've got just an old chassis here that I've pulled from the many cars that are laying around. And I thought I'd go ahead and upgrade this to the uh, nitro screws uh, while you're watching. So um, first thing we're going to do is just going to go ahead and remove all the top metal screws from the chassis. And sorry, you're going to have to go through the pain of watching me do this, but I don't want to get accused of not actually doing this the right way or somebody saying that I shortcutted it or knowing how people sometimes are. But um, I'm going to take these all off, set them down over here just to get started. And... The purpose of these are to add a lighter weight screw to the top of the chassis. If you can see how, how much higher on the chassis the actual screws are, <clears throat> the more weight you move from the top of the chassis or move to the bottom for the center of gravity, well, the better it's going to handle. So these, uh, <clears throat> these screws are one of the ways that you can actually do that. So you can take off all the top end screws and I'm going to leave one for last <coughs> in the shock just because it's fun to do. But for every metal screw that you take off, you're reducing the amount of weight. <clears throat> so I've already opened up a package of these uh, screws, the uh, nitro screws. I've got it sitting here. The, each pack comes with about 15, I think it is, so that you can potentially do two cars if you wanted to, but really recommend that you keep some car, see, keep some on the side because <clears throat> these are very high performance aluminum screws. They don't weigh a lot, which means that they are uh, not as hard as the uh, steel and don't recommend taking them on or off the car more than two or three times before they might get weak uh, and break just like any other high performance parts would. So in the kit that you get is you do get this one steel screw that's in the kit. And the reason why is because the actual threads on the nitro screw, and you're not going to be able to see that only so well in the picture, is just a little bit different than the threads that came with the chassis. So what we want to do is we want to chase the actual chassis with the steel screw to help the other screws go in. If I could just not drop that one in there. So using just the regular driver, I'm going to go in and I'm going to just slowly drive it in. I'm actually going to use the bigger driver. I picked the wrong one. Just slowly drive it in. And I am chasing a new set of threads in the plastic chassis. I'll drive all the way down and then all the way back out again. And again, going slowly. And I'm going to go back down again, slowly down to the bottom. And then I'm going to pull it back out. And then that thread hole is now ready for the nitro screw. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. And if you're a little methodical about it, take your time. They'll all go in and you won't have any issues. If you try and run them in before you get a chance to run it with the steel screw or drop one like I just did. Fortunately, I have more. But if you try and run them in without chasing the screw, then there's a chance that the screw head is going to break. Now, when you're running them in, they're going to feel pretty good going in. It's going to get, you're going to start feeling it snug at the bottom, and you only need it to go down tight to hold the piece in place. You don't need to actually crank it down like you might do with a steel screw. You just need it to hold in place. Fortunately, there is not a lot of pressure keeping these components on the top of the chassis here, there's not a lot of uh, pressure needed to keep it all together. So you do not have to crank them down in order to keep things nice and tight and the car running well. Uh, so don't 
crank them down and uh, and over tighten it. That's just going to fatigue the screw that's that much more, and you're just going to have to replace them that much sooner. If you do break one off, you can dig them out with just a sharp um, screwdriver, the end of a screwdriver, and you could dig one out again. Keeping in mind that these front ones, you can remove the screws in the bottom, and you can reach all the way through with a tiny screwdriver and just kind of dig it out. The ones on the top, if you break them off in these sections over here, they're a little bit tougher to get out. You can drill them out or, again, dig them out with a sharpened small screwdriver, um, and you can get the aluminum out. The aluminum is very, very small, very, very soft, I should say. Again, this is a racing upgrade. So if you want to get maximum performance out of the car, then this is one of the ways to do it. And it is a very inexpensive and quick upgrade to do while getting a lot of extra performance out of the, out of the car and helping with traction rolling, keeping the car on the ground. So again, I'm just going in once. I'm going in twice, nice and gentle, pulling it back out again. That hole's ready to go. Grab another nitro screw, place it in, goes in nice and smooth, and make it snug. And we've got the start of a whole chassis, putting in all the top end screws. They're going to look good and they are going to help with the center of gravity. Now, the main reason for doing this, I'm move this part over here, the shock tower. I'm going to move this screw over. I've removed six screws from the top. Get out our little scale, turn this on. So it's zeroed out right now. And we're just going to place screws that we took out and are going to replace and right now they're reading 1.2 grams for those six screws we'll just take those off scoot them off the side over here and we'll place one two three four five six of the nitro screws back on and you can see we have got a full gram of weight removed from the top of the chassis by just changing these out. And it doesn't hurt that they actually look super cool. Um, they come, of course, in all the all the awesome colors, purple and purple, red, blue, green, orange, and the stealth black. Um, so that you can customize the chassis any way you want. But that's, that's how you do it. And I'm going to um, finish this off and uh, show you what they all look like when they all get back in place and then I'll catch you here at the end. Okay, I've got the uh, main top ones replaced, and for just an added bonus, I have, on my other cars, I have replaced this top one that looks really, really cool on the top. I'm going to go ahead and do it on this car, too. Move that aside, and I didn't even count that one among the weight, but I could have, too. But this will really help. And this plastic's just a little bit thinner over here. So when I open the hole up of the threads just a little bit, I'm going to go a little bit slower. I went down about halfway, backed out again. I went down about three quarters, backed out again. I'm going back down just a little bit more. And this one, you actually, there's a lot of gap between where the um, top of the shock goes in. So you really don't have to go all the way down because it's not gonna sit that deep into this hole. Anyway, so I went down just a little bit past three quarters and backed it out. And I'm gonna put a nitro screw right on the top.
And again, it's only got to be just snug for the hold in place. And there we have a uh, MRO3 chassis replaced with all the uh, nitro screws in place. And now it's a little bit lighter and the center of gravity just a little bit lower. And that performance increase is really going to help you get around the track and maybe just traction roll just a little bit less or give you just a little bit of advantage on the track. So that's the instructional video on how to do that. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.